Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Tom if you're brand new, or Thomas if you're brand new and I make style and hair related videos every single week. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back and visit me every single week. So in this video today, oh, this one was so difficult for me to label. In my last Q&A that I did, I had somebody, I can't remember their name. I'm gonna insert the name here. <laughs> they were talking about these things that dangle beside your ear and can't fit into your man bun. And like the written form of the question, I was like, what does that even look like? Like, what are they trying to explain here? And then I got him to send through a photo and the fo image actually contained like just these, we've got these dangly bits that actually float behind your ears. Now this piece here, this is literally just for show because this bit's actually long enough to fit into my man bun, but things like this, apparently bother a lot of you. Now, for me personally, I never even worry about tucking this away. I kind of just put it behind my ear and off I go on my merry way. I don't give two shits about it, but if it's important to you guys, then I actually definitely do have a solution for this and we're showing it right here. These are bobby pins. And that's literally all I'm gonna use to pin them in. I know a lot of you probably feel a little bit weird about bobby pins too. Maybe think that they're just a girl's thing, but really when we've got a man bun, you know, like is a hair tie a girl's thing? No, because we use them for our buns, right? Same with bobby pins and they really help tidy up a hairstyle. So I'm just gonna show you how I would slot these in and seamlessly disguise them so you can't even see that you're wearing a bobby pin, but you can still get rid of the straggly bits that hang out. I think that's what we're gonna call them, like loose stragglers <laughs> that don't fit in your man bun, okay? And yeah, it's very, very simple, very straightforward. It's not rocket science. And without further ado, we're gonna get into it. I am gonna be doing, I'm doing a video later today about how to do flyaway. So if you see all my little spiky bits, we've got a solution for that. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned, but for the most part, let's get fixing these stragglers. So I'm actually gonna do the, these guys here, like these ones that are really prominent and stick out. I'm gonna do them last. <laughs> and we're actually gonna deal with this longer piece. So let's say I tied my man bun and I was like, shit, I really like how the bun looks, but I don't wanna take the whole man bun out. It's a very simple way to fix. So this one, I would literally just grab all the hair. I'd probably put a, like a little bit of flaxseed gel or something on it, but grab them all actually put it back towards the bun and just grab a pin and tuck him in. Now, because my bun is so frilly, you can't even really see that I'm wearing a pin in it. So that actually solves the longer ones that you accidentally don't get into your bun, okay? But now for these guys, like these hairs, literally, you can see them, they're just not long enough to go up into my bun and there's no way in hell that I'm actually gonna tie it up. So unless I intertwine it with my hair creatively, which I'm not gonna do, or tuck it behind my ear, there's no other real way that I can deal with it seamlessly other than a bobby pin. So again, so what I'm really gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I grab the whole piece like this. Probably twist him around a little bit just so I can make sure I get all the hairs and there's no other bits that bloody prong out on me. And then what I'm literally gonna do, I'm gonna get my teeth, make sure the crinkly bit is facing you because the crinkly bit's what's meant to go along your scalp. And then I will literally attach the hair like this. I think you can see that. I've just kind of like pinned the hair in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it back and find a spot under here. I'll lift this hair up and then slot my pin onto my scalp line and keep moving it back until like the little tip of the hair is gone. And then we're just gonna literally grab the pieces of hair that I had over the top and disguise it over the top there. Kimbo, can you just have a look for me? Is, can you actually see the pin at all? Actually in real life? No. See, Kim can't even see it. That's literally it. Now, like my ear, I think they're just like, they're like little inevitable hairs that I just can't get rid of. But the actual long hairs that, you know, just won't fit into the bun, that's gonna be your best bet to do it. And that is literally how simple it needs to be. So you need to go and buy yourself some bobby pins. And literally all I did was lift a bit of this hair up, slotted the pin in, put it back over, seamless, gone. 
would you look at that? And and bobby pins aren't expensive either. Like I picked these up from the supermarket for like I think four dollars fifty or something like that. Very very cheap. It's not a bad thing to have in your your arsenal really because it just helps tidy up hairdos. And when you have stragglers, exactly like what I just showed you, you can pin them in and hide them without anybody even noticing. I hope that solves a lot of the problems that you guys are having with your straggler pieces. Do stay tuned for more videos though, because we are gonna talk about flyaways and getting rid of these. I've got this brand new method that I've just discovered that I think is gonna work really well. I haven't tried it yet and I wanted to wait until I filmed the video because I already do have my own method for dealing with flyaways, but this method seems like it's gonna work really well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If the video is already out, it will be up in the cards. And I hope you found that quick, informative and easy. Until next week, I'll see you later. Please remember to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next week for another one. Goodbye. And that is another video in the bag, Kimbo. We got it. If, if people get to this far in the video, they should definitely watch another one, right? You can click up here for previous videos that I've done, or you can click here to subscribe to my channel, which you should already be subscribed, by the way. <laughs> hey, look, a video. <laughs> what a lot. Oh, I put it on... <laughs> I put it on for 20 minutes.